in today's episode Digital Video Recorder from Dahua. So, stay tuned. If you like our tutorials, support our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Like and share our videos. And if our tutorials help you to grow your business, become a true member of Poseidon Tech by clicking the join button. If you want to learn more about our services, visit our website. Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. In today's episode, I will show you how to set up a DVR for analog cameras. This one is from Dahua. So, let's unbox it. Inside the box you will find the DVR. This is a DVR for 16 analog cameras. At the back you will find 16 video inputs, audio input and audio output ports, one HDMI port, one USB port, one network port, RS-485 communication port, 12 volts power input port, one VGA port and a power button. Inside the box you will find also a SATA cable for the hard disk. A 12 volts DC power supply. A SATA power cable for the hard disk. Mounting screws for the hard disk. A USB mouse. Regulatory information guide and a quick start guide. Let's start. First, I will install the hard disk. This is a 4 terabytes Skyhawk surveillance hard drive from Seagate. To install the hard drive, you need to remove first the screws. Fix the screws onto the hard drive, but do not fasten them. Put the hard drive into the DVR. Turn the DVR to see the back side of it. Aim the screws of the HDD at the holes on the back of the DVR and then fasten the screws. Use the HDD cable and power cable to connect the hard drive and mainboard.
allow me to tidy up these cables. Put back the cover and fasten the screws. Plug in the power cable to the DVR. Connect the DVR into a switch port. Connect your analog cameras into the video input ports of the DVR. I'm using video balloons for the connection. For more details, watch our step-by-step -step tutorial. You will find the link in the description. Finally, press the power button to turn on the DVR. The power indicator LED is turned on. Every DVR from Dahua comes with a static IP address 192, 168, 1, 108. So, if your local network is not in 192, 168, 1, X subnet, then you have to change your computer's IP address. For example, in macOS, click on Wi-Fi icon and open Network Preferences. Click on Advanced. Select TCP IP. Change the DHCP setting to manually. Give an IP address, for example, 192.168.125. Leave the default subnet mask and leave the router field empty. Click OK and apply. Now open a browser and write the default IP address of the DVR 192.168.1.108. Give a password. Give an email address to be able to reset the password in case you forget it. Choose security questions and give answers that you will remember. Click on Finished. Login with your account. This is DVR's main dashboard. Click on Management button and select Network. From TCP IP, change DVR's IP address according to your network. Click on Save. Since we changed DVR's IP address, we have also to restore our computer's IP address from static to DHCP. Now, my computer and DVR are on the same subnet. Click on Management button 
and select Network. And Connection. Here you can change the default ports of the DVR. Go to P2P. For simplicity, I will use DAHU as cloud for remote access, so P2P must be enabled. Go to Storage and HDD Manager. Select the hard drive and click on Format. Go to Record. If you want to record the cameras 24-7 at high resolution, leave Mainstream for all cameras to auto. Go to System, General, and Date and Time. Select the right time zone according to your location. I prefer date format to be day, month, year. I will select 24 hours format and I will set the daylight saving time according to my region. Finally, I will set the network time protocol for automatic clock synchronization. The NTP server I use is pool.ntp.org. Click Save. From default, you can restore DVR to factory default settings. From Management, go to Account. Here you can edit and add users. Let's create a user for monitoring the cameras and not be able to access DVR settings. Click on Add User. Give a username and a password. Select User Group. I will not allow access to system settings. I will not give playback access to all cameras. Likewise, I will not give monitor access to all cameras. Unfortunately, if you are using a Mac computer, you will not be able to watch cameras live view from a browser. So, for monitoring and playback, I use Smart PSS. To download Smart PSS, Go to dahuasecurity.com Go to Support and Download Center. From Software's card, select Smart PSS. Download Smart PSS for Windows or Mac. Open Smart PSS. Select Devices from Configuration tab. Click Add. Give a device name. Select Serial Number method. Give the DVR serial number. Remember that at DVR's initialization, we enable P2P for cloud access. Give username and password. Click on Add. The green indicator means that I have connected successfully to DVR. Close Devices card. From Operation tab, select Live View. From lower right corner of the screen, select the number of windows that you want to watch. Double-click on your DVR to open all available cameras. Double-click on a camera for full screen. With a right click on a camera, you can change the stream between main and substream. Mainstream is a high quality stream, while substream is a lower quality stream that is ideal when your internet connection is low or you have too many cameras.
If you want to change the order of the cameras, just drag the camera window and drop it to a new position. When you are ready, click on this icon at the left bottom of the screen. Give a name. Click OK. So now when you open Live View again, click on View and under Default Group, double click on your view. From Search tab, click Playback. Expand your DVR and select the camera. Select date and time. And click on search. I have just installed the DVR, so this is the only recording that I have. Now, let me show you how to save a recording. Click on scissors icon. Adjust the red lines according to the duration of the video that you want to save. and click again the scissors icon. Select MP4 format and click OK. Export has been finished. Exported video is in MP4 format so it can be played from any media player. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, I will show you how to add a camera or a DVR or an NVR in Dahua's mobile app DMSS. So, see you in the next episode.